hi guys welcome back to my channel my name is jumoke and today we are making french toast casserole first get your baking dish and grease it nicely you can use any oil of your preference i'm using ghee you can use butter anything at all so i got my bread from the fridge this is homemade sourdough bread if you would like to know how i make mine you can check my recipe book my recipe for starter and bread is there so you chop your bread you chop it into pieces like this then after chopping it into pieces like this you turn it around and chop it into smaller cubes smaller cubes depending on your baby's age so my babies are six and two so i'm not chopping it really really small you can chop it really really small depends on if your baby can pick it up or not so i get to chop that very nicely as you can see in the video where i'm going to be chopping around 10 cups you can decide to have the recipe but i wanted to keep some in the freezer for another breakfast or snack so i'll be using around 10 cups so here i am measuring the bread i want to make sure that it is accurate so i'm getting 10 cups i'm making 10 cups and i got my eggs so i used eight eggs yeah that's a lot of eggs but that's also a lot of bread so two tablespoons of vanilla extract and generous amount of cinnamon so that should be like two tablespoons of cinnamon then two cups of milk you can use any milk you want and here is it the twist so you zest two old lemons yes you need that lemon lemony nice flavor in it so you zest two lemons into your milk and egg mix you whisk it nicely try as much as possible to dissolve your cinnamon to do this better you should blend it but it was early in the morning and i do not have time to blend it and i knew that it will still dissolve anyway so my small baking dish could not carry the amount of bread i wanted to bake so i had to opt for a bigger one added my bread into it and my milk mixture mix that very well with the bread make sure all the bread is coated with the milk mixture looking at this you can decide to make it really soggy or not then you put it in the oven for 30 minutes at 180 please keep an eye on it make sure it does not get burnt so start looking at it anywhere from 25 minutes and this is what it looks like after baking so you may also not want the top to be crispy i want the top to be crispy and soft so that is why i did it like this so if you don't want that you had simply had more milk and more egg so i topped it with greek yogurt and some blueberries you can and some honey now don't give honey to your baby who is less than 12 months so if you are making this for your baby who is less than 12 months you can top it with maple syrup or date syrup if you are about that life so this is my baby's school lunch i topped it with honey then separated their yogurt and topped their yogurt with some blueberries so this is how i served it for my house people now when you have extras and you want to freeze it just simply cut it into portions cut it out remove it from your baking dish get your ziplock and portion it as you would like to use it if you've not subscribed kindly kindly help move the ministries forward please subscribe thank you very much i appreciate you remove it nicely just like this then you get your ziplock and you put it inside you put it inside nicely you arrange it you know because you are going to be freezing it so you have to actually make it look and feel nice and not in a way that it will scatter so you have to arrange it very well then when you are done arranging it you close your ziplock make sure there are no air inside then get your 
marker or your biro write the date and what you've kept in your ziplock and transfer it to the freezer but make sure you use it within two weeks you should not be keeping anything more than two weeks really so and that is how to make and keep your french toast casserole